Denona Mini Nudes Palette. Now, I was supposed to have this video up on New Year's Day. It was supposed to arrive on New Year's Eve on Monday, but there was a delay because of the weather, and so I didn't get it until today, which is Wednesday, and so this video is going up Thursday, if that makes sense. I'm really excited to review this palette. This palette is $25. You can get it at Sephora. You can also get it on the Natasha Denona website. Let me give you guys some information about this palette, and then we're going to jump right into the tutorial. This palette is a all-neutral palette in a mini-size palette, including two metallics, two mattes and one duochrome. This eyeshadow palette is very user friendly and the color scheme allows to create a whole eye makeup look. I think she did a great job with the shade selection in this palette. I think the shades are absolutely beautiful. I think these shades are perfect for that everyday girl. You know, you can wear these shades to work, to dinner, to whatever, and just be very classy and beautiful. Like, I love these shades. I have a lot to say about the palette. Let's jump into the video. I'm gonna show you guys how I created this look, and then I'm gonna swatch it for you, and then later on in the video, I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hot off the melt truck, this palette has finally arrived. I am so happy. This palette was supposed to be here uh, New Year's Eve, but somehow the weather delayed it, and of course, New Year's Day, nobody was, you know, the mail wasn't working, so here we go. We finally have it in stock, and I am ready to play. I'm so excited. I really love the Mini Star palette. It's been one of my favorite palettes. So, of course, the box is kind of really pretty. Like, I like the box. But let's look at the beautiful palette. Oh, my gosh. These are really pretty. Like, these are perfect for that everyday girl that just loves something easy and something beautiful. This is pretty. This is prettier than I thought. And I really love these shades. Oh my gosh, this is like a beautiful duochrome. Holy schmokes. This swatches like a beautiful dream. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the first shade in the palette and it is a metallic shade and it is stunning. You get instant pigmentation with that shade. It is stunning. So this shade right here is a creamy matte. This shade right here is a metallic. This is a duochrome, so it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. And then this is a creamy matte, but super pigmented. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful palette. What a beautiful, simple, gorgeous palette. I am so excited about this palette. Now I have the Camel palette and I will link my review of the Camel palette right up here on the iCards. I really like that palette. And I love the Mini Star palette, but I always haven't had the best luck with Natasha Denona. I didn't buy the gold palette just because I don't love that palette enough to spend the money on it. I don't love all the shades in the palette. I did buy the Safari palette because I really wanted a full matte palette, but that palette didn't work out for me and I have returned it, so I don't have it here to show you because I did return it. I will also link that review in the iCards, so all you have to do is click any of those iCards and all five of the iCards that I attached to the video, you will be able to see them. But I, have, I will attach all of my reviews of the Natasha Denona palettes that I have reviewed thus far in the iCards. I have an up and down love-hate relationship with Natasha Denona, so when I seen this palette, I really wanted it to work for me because I really love these shades. And this is the palette, this and the mini star palette, you could just throw in your bag and go for the weekend. So enough talking, let's jump into it. So I am actually going to use my Sonia G Pro Eye Set that I got from Beautylish. I think these are coming back into stock soon. I'm gonna first go into this shade right here. Apply this in the crease. Now I will say I did put down some of my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. We're just gonna place this in the crease and kind of building up that dimension. So I'm gonna bring it into my inner corner and out and I'm basically just following my eye shape. Now I didn't set down my MAC Paint Pot so it's a little bit tacky. What I like about it is that it's it's pigmented enough to build, but it's not overly pigmented where you just have this explosion of color on your eye and you have to like work to get it to blend out. So that is what I already like about it so far, but look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna switch to my smaller crease brush. This is the Crease Pro. 
The other one was the Blender Pro, I believe. So I'm going to concentrate this and just build up that shade because I really want that shade to kind of be the focal point as far as, you know, the gradual change of color. So pretty. Now I'm gonna go into this last shade, which kind of does have a little bit of like a eggplant undertone to it. So I'm gonna pop that right below the crease and kind of just start working that in. My only regret is not setting down my MAC paint pot because the shadows are just sticking to it. Now I know that many of you guys like not have not setting down your concealer or you know your eyeshadow primer you like that tackiness and yes it does give you more pigmentation but it's harder for me to blend it that way and you know we all have our different techniques we all have things that work different for us and for me a tacky base is just not the easiest keeping that shade right here below the crease and because i don't want to overpower the transition with that shade and I am gonna go back in with the first transition shade and pop it back over top of it. But look how gorgeous, oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with my um, Blender Pro and I'm gonna go into the first shade, the lighter shade of the mattes. And the thing that I already like about this is that that first shade, this shade right here, it's a nice shade to build on top of itself and kind of build dimension within the shade. And I'm kind of using that shade to kind of blend in that darker shade. I'm gonna go back into the dark shade and build that up one more time. And just really keep blending this. But as you can see, it's pretty pigmented and it's a really soft shadow, you know, that I don't really like Natasha Denona's um, satin formula. The satin formula, first of all, doesn't build, and second, it doesn't stay true to the shade, and I don't like that, so I'm really glad that all the shades in this Mini Nudes palette is all her matte formula and not the satin formula. I do not like the satin formula at all. I'm gonna do the lid and I'm definitely putting this all over my lid. Like I have to have that dual chrome shade all over my lid. I wanna put this on it and I might pop it like in the middle of the eye, but I have to put that dual chrome shade all over because it is so freaking beautiful. But I'm gonna use my Fender Blender from Huda Beauty and I just take a makeup wipe and kind of pinch it and dampen it without making it wet. So I'm gonna go into this shade with the Fender Blender. Oh my gosh, do you see how pretty that is? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, now I think this is what a Natasha Denona palette is supposed to be. Oh my gosh. Do you see how beautiful that is? Like, oh, it is stunning. I've got a little bit of fallout, but nothing too bad. This is probably one of the prettier shades that I've seen in any of her mini palettes. Okay, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into that first like gold shade and I'm gonna pop it like right here in the middle and just kind of blend that into it. But I don't wanna take from that duochrome because it's so freaking beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take my pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the first shade right there, that first matte shade, and I'm gonna bring this along the lower lash line. Now I haven't watched anybody else's reviews on this. I know a few creators that I watch have already uploaded their video. I try not to watch other people's reviews of palettes that I'm fixing to review because I feel like it alters and changes, you know, my opinion of it. I like my impression to be my first and my own impression. So I don't know how everybody else is feeling about this palette, but I can tell you right now, this is a nice palette. I'm gonna go into this shade on the very end and tight, and I'm just gonna keep that really close to the lash line. All right, I'm gonna go back into that shade 
and I'm gonna pop this right here on this outer corner. I'm gonna take a brush kind of like this and I'm gonna go into this middle shade right here which is flipping stunning. I'm gonna wet it down and pop this right here on the inner corner. Natasha, Natasha. There's so many different things you could do with this palette too, as far as like, I know that it's just a, you know, five pan palette, but there's so many different looks that you could create with those five shades. I am going to take a little teeny brush like this and I'm going to pop that shade, the middle shade right up here on the brow bone and just kind of highlight it. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and threw on some House of Lashes in the style Iconic Lights. For my lippy, I put on the KKW Beauty uh, Nude Number 2, of course. Oh, why wouldn't I? It's my favorite. And I went ahead and put on this from Dose of Colors. I don't know if they still have this. I'll have to look. But this is in the shade More Creamer Please. It's the perfect nude tone. Like it has that perfect beige undertone to it. And this was from the collection with Desi X Katie the first time, not the second time. So I don't know if they still carry it, but I love that shade because it does have that perfect undertone to it. But these two together I knew would be perfect for this eyeshadow look. Let me give you guys my opinion on palette. This is amazing. When I went ahead and went off camera and did this eye, I just kept buffing that shadow in and it was so easy and so beautiful and the duochrome is stunning on the eye. Both of these metallic shades are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. The duochrome is my favorite and it's probably one of my favorite shades from Natasha Denona. Now I don't have all the big palettes so don't get me wrong but out of all the palettes that I do have, this is my favorite shade. It is absolutely stunning. Gorgeous on every level. The two matte shades are perfect. They blend perfectly. They have the perfect undertones for the shades with them. This palette is amazing and it's my favorite mini palette. Now I thought I loved the mini star palette and I still do. This is everything that I wanted all of her palettes to be. Now I do want to compare it to this one. This is the camel palette. Here's what it looks like next to each other. This matte shade is definitely more of an eggplant. This one is definitely more of like a cool tone kind of olive green shade. So there are definitely some differences between these two palettes. Let's go ahead and swatch this shade from the camel palette and this shade from the New Nudes. I want you guys to see the differences between these two palettes. So this is from the new, the mini palette, okay? That is what that shade looks like. And then this shade right here is from the Camel palette. So they definitely are not the same. This one is more of like a rosy kind of color. It has more of a rose gold shift to it, but they're both very, very beautiful. Now let's go ahead and swatch this light one right here and the light one in this palette. This one right here is the mini palette. This one right here is from the camel palette. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think the shades in this palette are even more rich in tone than this palette, which is shocking because I really love this palette. And I think these two together, you can create some gorgeous looks. This one from the camel palette is called a sheer metallic shade. So this one is not full metallic. The one from the little mini nude palette, that one is strictly a metallic shade. So I think that's the reason why this one is more vibrant than this one from the camel palette. But they're definitely not the same. So if you have the camel palette, don't think that this mini nudes palette is the same because it's definitely not. This shade right here in the mini star palette looks very similar to this shade in the mini nudes. So let's go ahead and swatch that. So this one is from the stars palette. This one is from the mini nudes palette. So they're definitely not the same. This one from the star palette definitely is a little bit darker. This one is more of a beige undertone. These three palettes right here from Natasha Denona are so far my favorites. I do have the mini sunset. I don't love that one as much. I really don't. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not super impressed with the mini sunset palette and I don't grab it very often, but these three, like you could seriously create some gorgeous, gorgeous eye looks with these three palettes. Even mixing some of the mattes, like pulling mattes from different palettes and kind of pulling them together and then maybe pulling some different shimmers and putting them together. If you guys have been thinking about getting this palette, you will not be disappointed at all.
whatsoever. I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, I'm obsessed. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me. You guys are so awesome in the comment section. I just, I love you guys so much and I really appreciate all the love that you guys show me in my channel. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day filled with love, happiness, and joy. I will see you all tomorrow and I love you all so much. Bye.